Yo, what is up guys? Today I'm going to teach you how to make songs like the Smashing Pumpkins. But, who are the Smashing Pumpkins? The Smashing Pumpkins is an American band that formed in 1988 in Chicago, Illinois, with members Billy Corgan, Jimmy Chamberlain, Darcy Retsky, and James Eha. Although the band has gone through several lineup changes, Billy Corgan has stayed constant throughout. The Smashing Pumpkins are known for their shoegazy and grungy sound, which I've tried my best to capture in this track here. Let's get into it. So, the track starts out with this clean guitar which I recorded on my Stratocaster, which Billy Corgan is known for using in the early years of the Smashing Pumpkins. Here's how it sounds. And on that guitar track, we just have some reverb, compression, delay, and EQ to get it to sound how I wanted it to. Underneath that, we have a little bass line, which sounds like this. Next is the main guitar parts. Now, I took my time trying to get the tone exactly how I wanted. Now, to achieve that Smashing Pumpkins tone, there are a few things that will guarantee you a good sound. One is a high gain amp sound, uh, preferably a Marshall of some sort. Two is just layering as many tracks as you can, just to get that big shoegazy wall of sound. Uh, and here I recorded out of my tube amp, these two tracks with a condenser mic and this dynamic microphone. Is our sounds with just those two tracks. Then I did some DI tracks. Here's how they sound. And then I have a clean layer. Here's how they all sound together. And for the last part of the track, something that will 100% get you to sound like the Smashing Pumpkins, I used the Big Mouth. Here's how it sounds. Now moving on to the drums, I try to have a very aggressive sort of high energy drum groove that's really common with grunge. Here's my attempt. And of course for that, I'm using the grungy preset in Moto Drum. All right, and lastly, we have the bass tracks. And it's really simple as that. I also have these vocals here. I tried to do my best Billy Corgan impression. Don't roast me in the comments. I just have my basic vocal preset on there and I put a flanger on so it sounds like the mayonnaise vocals. Just a little bit of bonus. And now that we have all of these parts, let's put it together into our final track.
right, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you really liked it, please subscribe. If you want to support the channel, please check out my online shop in the description below. But as always,